Mary was visiting her husband at the graveyard when she nearly got sick with disgust, realising that for the third night in a row her dead husband's grave was vandalised. All the flower pots were knocked and someone must have used a sledgehammer to break the actual tombstone. Mary felt sick and on her drive home she came up with the idea she would get a hidden camera in the graveyard and film the tombstone and this time catch the vandals in the act. She hoped they wouldn't wear ski masks as she wanted them identified and punished for what they did. Mary's husband Frank wasn't himself the last two weeks and she nearly collapsed with shock when she walked in on him after committing suicide one night. He was just lying down on the floor with loads of pills next to him. She checked his pulse and knew he was dead. The next day she fixed a CCTV camera to the graveyard where her husband Frank's tombstone would be in clear view of the camera. On her way home she kept thinking what type of sick person would vandalise a tombstone. She knew that it would take some very bad person to do something so disgusting. The camera had a motion sensor so it just went on when something moved in front of it. There was a few false alarms, a dog, a cat etc. But then suddenly she couldn't believe her eyes. She sat up on her chair and saw what looked like a little girl floating in the air over her husband's grave. The little girl had an angry look on her face. Mary knew this girl had to be a ghost. She was watching the live feed so taught that if she made the 20 minute drive she would see the ghost. But then what would she do? She froze with fear and decided to drive to her husband's grave anyway. She didn't know what she would do if she saw the ghost. But she didn't have to worry as when she arrived there was no ghost to be seen. There was no one in sight. Back home when she was in bed, she had noticed something strange right beside her in the bed that wasn't there before. It was her husband's journal. Mary knew he wasn't himself since two weeks ago. He came back from work and just sat down on the sofa one night as if he was in a daze. She read his journal which read, I can't live with myself after running over this poor little girl. It was an accident of course. I didn't want to kill anyone but I see her face wherever I go. At work, in bed, playing golf, everywhere. I need to end this now. I need to end the pain. Mary now realised why Frank was so distant over the last few weeks. Suddenly. A cold shiver ran up her spine knowing her husband killed himself over guilt of running over a little girl. She remembers reading about it in a newspaper. Then suddenly the little girl floated into her room through the glass without even breaking it. Mary froze in fear wondering what was going to happen next.